I'm in the kitchen today baking a stemless cocoa cup to hold a Kahlua espresso martini. There's something about a Kahlua espresso martini that feels cozy and playful, and it's really fun to drink for the holidays. I've just mixed together my wet and dry ingredients. Here it is, it's all together, and I'm just going to roll it out onto a piece of plastic wrap, and this is gonna go in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then it's time to line my cookie cups and bake them up. All right, my dough is chilled, and it's time to put it into the muffin tins to bake the cups. There are definitely certain traditions, certain recipes I'm never messing with over the holidays. That's what tradition is to me, and I crave them every year. But this is a perfect example of a recipe that's fun, it's a little different, it really mixes things up. Now that the tarts have cooled, I'm gonna line them with melted chocolate. This is a recipe I love to make when my girlfriends are coming over for the holidays and I wanna make something a little bit special and indulgent. It's perfect for happy hour. The chocolate in my tart has set and now it's time to make my Kahlua espresso martini. The recipe couldn't be simpler. One part espresso, one part vodka, and of course, one part Kahlua. Over ice and give it a shake. Garnish with an espresso bean. Delicious. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs>